is part two of my ride around Rome. This is my first trip, my first trip around Rome on a tour bus. However, it hasn't disappointed me yet. I've had a good time. We have finally made our way. It's, uh, it's about three in the afternoon here. It's uh, three or one. We finally made our way uh, close to the Vatican. However, the Vatican is shut down at the moment because the Pope will be receiving an award today. So, as of three hours ago, I was not able to, to get all the way down. I wasn't able to get all the way down the boulevard, or you couldn't by vehicle at least, all the way down the boulevard at St. Peter's. So I don't believe that this tour would continue to St. Peter's. So, so yes, yes, and actually the tour bus did just turn. So, this tour is actually designed to go to St. Peter's. However, it just turned away from St. Peter's because... Little in fact, this right here has been through everything. It was a residence of a pope. It also was, uh, it's a prison. It was a prison for a while. But right now, you can go right about there. You can go right about there and get some lunch. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view of Rome to eat lunch. I've had lunch, uh, that window right there. I've taken pictures since on my Instagram. Uh, I did not do this trip though, so it's deep on my Instagram from like last year deep. Uh, but. That is a wonderful, you can actually see people sit, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see them. Buddy, D&J Travel. I read your comment the first time, it's just not the best place to advertise. However, I do watch all of my replays and I will visit that website, but I will kindly ask you not to plug it anymore. Not, not, don't plug it anymore. So, uh, this is my first time on a tour bus, and as you can see, it is a busy, busy, busy day in Rome. Three in the afternoon. I'm visiting Germany, Switzerland, and Italy. I drove from Southwest Germany to Rome. I'm already here, obviously. And then I'll be driving back in five days' time. I'll go through Verona. I'll stop in Verona. How, around how much cost do you travel? It depends. It really depends. Uh, so a ticket, a ticket from the United States where I live in Florida was about 1,400 US round trip. And then traveling here, it really depends on what kind of traveler you are. However, I would uh, I would anticipate that for at least for a couple, for two people because I am married, to bring to be prepared to spend about five grand. Um, however, you could obviously travel much much cheaper. You don't you don't have to need that much to go around. But you, your upfront cost for the ticket alone being fourteen hundred US uh, really puts a damper on your plans. So this is a famous river right here. Obviously, actually they'll even have like. A, the people hanging out down there, they also have vendors that go down there. Uh, there there's, there's a lot of great things that happen. Right now, we are at yet, it seems like we're the 100th stop of this tour. What you see is, you see hustlers. Hustlers, they're not just selling things, they are trying to hustle you. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll stick this right in your face, as you can see him attempting to do. And uh, when you grab it, as an American typically would when something's in your face, you put it out of your face or grab it, they refuse to take it back. They refuse to take it back. They'll just, you'll be forced to pay for it. Uh, I guess the sensible thing to do if you want to get out of the situation is just set it on the ground and walk away. Uh, so we do have hustlers. We got another guy hustling right here. Yep. But he's wearing a name badge, so he may actually be selling tours. Yeah, yeah. we got a guy in the distance. This is a, this is a stop. I'm trying to get, they're trying to get customers, I suppose. You can see straight down, this is the tour that I'm on. They're grabbing people. Grabbing people as they so please. Uh, assuming one of those is the driver, one of those is the worker. Or maybe just both workers, I'm not sure. This tour lasts about an hour, hour and a half in length. I've actually already scoped 40 minutes of it. Lots of those guys in Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess any, any major tourist city, especially ones in Europe, you're going to find some hustling going on. Um, I, I noticed this when I went to Paris as well. And of course Milan, Verona, no, none of them are different. I mean, it's just, I think it's any big city really. It's U.S. U.S. is alike. So, you're going to find that. So I was saying before that this is about an hour and 20 minutes long. I've already scoped about 40 minutes. However, 20 of them were at a stop. I was really surprised to see about 7 people. I lost about 60 people sitting there. But 7 of them stuck around until we started going again. Um, so we, we have found another stop. I guess it's just one of those things. It's what they call hop on, hop off. There's a lot, a lot of companies that run these in this city. And uh, basically what happens is they will take you to the main sites and then you will 
you, you, you tour them yourselves. There is a recording, a pre-recording. It's not actually, you know, like a guy standing up there with a microphone. There is a pre-recording that, uh, that changes as the bus goes along. Uh, I guess based off just location services. Uh, however, you, it's the tour yourself. So they stop at the stop. You go, you go look at it. And um, in 10 or 20 minutes, another bus from the same company will be there at that same stop. And you just hop back on until the next stop. So I guess it's just a way of uh, not riding the metro. I, I prefer the metro because I like uh, it's pretty efficient here in Rome. Uh, so my previous two trips. Oh sure, sure. Hop on buses. My previous. Oh look, plug in a plug in another company here. That's not the company I'm riding on. Uh, so my previous two trips, I just ride the, the metro and walk around. However, this was a nice way I thought to uh, to get an overview. I can't move. And already, I've actually seen things. I've actually seen uh sites that I actually did not know were existing. I mean, I really did not know they were there. Uh, so I was really surprised to, to catch little uh, little corners of the of the city that I have yet to, to visit. So here's the famous river, right? It runs right next to the, uh, the Vatican City, right through the center of the city. And uh, people 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 hang out on alongside there. And I, from what I hear, I haven't seen it yet, there's festivals that will run there as well, right along the sides. There's also some famous movie scenes driving through those, those, uh, those I guess you can call it canals. Because it is, it is man-made, this. It's not a regular bank. So just from a past experience, I'm a little bit familiar with where we're at. Within about five minutes walking from here, you can get to a famous plaza. You can actually get to a couple famous plaza. We're also not that far from the Spanish Steps. I found the Shrevy. So it looks like a traffic jam. It is 3 p.m. Traffic jam is is super surprising. I'm gonna I'm gonna guys I'm gonna save data. There's only there's only one left here. Daniel, hey Daniel, Daniel I'm saving data, and I will turn this back on when we get uh, either I may not scope again from the bus to be honest. It stops too much. Uh, but I'll, I'll share this again when I get to a site. I don't want to waste uh, waste gigs. Through, you know, showing traffic. Traffic's the same everywhere. So, uh, thanks for joining. I'll, I'll scope out with that famous uh, building right there. That's that's a that's actually a uh, a government building. Like many things in Rome, it has it has a nice uh, centerpiece. I guess you can call it on the top. So we're gonna scope out for now. We're gonna keep this one short. Uh, unfortunately, this bus is just uh, it's just not showing the sights the way I thought it would. Uh, actually, you know what? Give me. 10 seconds here. If we turn left, I'll stay for a moment, just a moment. There we go. Stay. Daniel, you get to be the only one to see this live. Everybody else just going to have to be a replay scrub. They catch a, catch a screenshot. So there we go. We'll scope out on that. Well, you guys can join me a little bit later on if you're watching this on the replay. I will scope the rest of my trip here. Five days in Rome and then another week in Europe. And I'll drive back to Germany. Along the way, I'll try to scope Switzerland. And I will also scope uh, Stuttgart, Germany, Heidelberg, Germany, and wherever else it is. I may go see a castle or two. So thank you for joining us and uh, join me on one of my other scopes here in Rome. And uh, you can also join me in one of my coffee times. If you see coffee time or coffee chat in the title, that means I'm going to discuss with you what's happening in the background. Okay, I'm not going to share what's happening in the background uh, on these, these scopes that are for the sites. So we'll see you guys soon and uh, thanks for supporting me. Right, goodbye for now.